Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take the time to tell you about my public transportation plan and my long-term vision for the City of Winnipeg. My plan is based on three parts. The first part is cancelling BRT because it's far too expensive, but also reorganizing our transportation system, our buses. It's based on a model used in Quebec City, in Montreal, and in Vancouver. It's called the Metro Bus System. We use existing roads, diamond lanes, and synchronized lights to ensure the buses can move efficiently around this city. Also, the buses would move along two main arteries, or most buses, from west to east, from north to south. And this would allow all citizens then to benefit from a good, efficient public transportation system. The buses would come for every five to 15 minutes. The second part of my plan is to do rail relocation. The federal government will pay 50% of those costs. It's in the Rail Relocation Act. And once we move the rails outside of the city, the CN here and the CP up here, we all of a sudden have all this existing infrastructure within our city that we could then use to put in place another type of system called light rail transit. This is cost effective. This is also environmentally sound, which is perhaps the most important component. Now, Perhaps the final consideration of why it's important to consider rail relocation in this election, which is one of the most important in a generation, is safety. We have seen far too many disasters in Canada, based on lac Bigantic, but also elsewhere in Canada, which has demonstrated that rail lines are transporting some very dangerous goods. These are going through our city each and every day. And if we as public administrators don't take the time to think about the long-term consequences of those products coming through our city, we're doing a disservice to all citizens. My plan is really something that is based on long-term vision. We need to have vision which is based on something that we did 100 years ago, which is the aqueduct. Also, thinking about 50 years ago, building a floodway. This will be something that people in 100 years will say, didn't they have vision and foresight in that city of Winnipeg, our city. Merci beaucoup.